We're going to look at how to run the scan on Spybot Search and Destroy. So as always, we double click on the Start Center from our desktop, uh, which will open. Uh, we can currently see our immunization and last update is fine, but our last system scan, your computer has not been scanned yet. That is red, meaning that we need to take some urgent action. And it is our last red on the list. So what we should do now that we've already immunized, if you've not already watched that video, make sure you check it out. Um, we now need to scan the system. So if you click the scan system button, it will take a few seconds to load the scanning app and it will immediately start. So as you can see here, the scan is progressing. It tells you the how long has elapsed, so less than a minute at the moment. And it currently tells you what product it is searching for. So it will search for a variety of different malware, rootkits, keyloggers, adware, spyware, anything which could be slowing down your program, uh, your programs or system, including what is called uh, pups or potentially unpopular software, which may have a legitimate use, but have been reported to be annoying to users. This could be through ads, constant nag screens, or just general poor performance um, and affecting the system. The status at the top still shows red whilst the scan is progressing because at this stage we could stop the scan and the system would still be vulnerable. But when we look here, it, the scan will not include extended antivirus checks. That is part of the professional editions of Spybot which do cost money. We have got a reminder here that to improve our scan results, we should buy the home or professional editions. This does not improve the malware scan results, which you have always been free and you get for free anyway. But what it does do is extend to antivirus checks. So it is really important that you do have antivirus on the system. It doesn't have to be from Spybot. Um, we can see after a couple of minutes, we are at one point nine percent now two percent of the system scan completed so we can keep an eye an eye on the progress here by looking at the top left hand corner for those of you that did create a trust list it was an awfully long process the scan with a trust list will be certainly much faster it will take less than the five and a half hours it took to create the trust list if you want more information on that don't forget to look at that video as well and even if you haven't created a trust list, on the vast majority of systems, an average running system these days, you would not expect the scan to take more than an hour to complete the entire system. So at the moment, we're going to keep leaving this running. You can see what it is scanning for in the status bar. You can see the name of the threats there. All these that it's going through have been identified as malware so you can see the first part of it says what type of malware so ads in this case and an ad called safe surfing is currently being scanned here for some detections due to how complex the malware integrates the system will take longer to scan for than others so as we can see here for safe surfing it is taking a lot longer than the previous ones which it managed to flick through very fast and at the moment we are three minutes in and we're going to leave it here for the moment continuing to scan the system and we will pop back shortly to see what happens at the end of the scan And then when we get the scan results, um, scan finishes, we get the results. So the scanning total took 34 minutes and 41 seconds to finish and found 18 results. Now, we can see here the threat level is really low here. We can see that there is also no malware there and that all the categories are tracks, which means something that could be potentially tracking you as well as um, a couple of bits in browser history and cache. There's nothing here which is of a high threat, threat level, that's good. When you find these here, you can tick and untick different results to decide whether to clean them or not. In this case, we'll allow it to clean them all. So if we click fix selected, we can see there that it has actually gone and successfully fixed all these problems because we have a tick against all of those now. 
Hope that helps. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more videos.